Hey guys, welcome back to Minute Watch. This is a Hamilton. That is also a Hamilton, but we're not going to talk about that one. We're going to talk about this one. <laughs> this is the Hamilton Field Kaki 38 with a model number of H7045533. And this is a brand new one. And it's, I think it's slightly different from the ones on the pictures uh, there are some there are small differences uh, I think there's two two small differences um, but it's the same same thing uh, this is a uh, I've always wanted to get a Hamilton and uh, I figured why not get the cheapest automatic one so that's what I've done and uh, I, I'm pretty happy with it you know there's there's some weirdness about it that I'm gonna get into but overall I'm pretty happy about it uh, not happy about the price for I think it should have been a little bit cheaper but um, I, again I'm overall pretty happy with it so um, Hamilton is a company that started in, in the USA during 1892 and long story short it is now part of the Swatch group uh, Hamilton does have a somewhat interesting history so if you want to know more about it go to the wiki link below and get a more or less accurate history of the company <laughs> uh, gosh let's see so this one uh, I got for about 400 US dollars uh, but let's get to the particular shall we this watch uses the ETA or ETA 2824-2 movement which ticks at 28,800 beats per hour the movement employs 25 joules uh, has at least 38 hours of power reserve it is a hackable movement and windable so I'm going to wind it up because it's dead get it going so you see that get it going pull out the crown and the second hand stops so it is a hackable windable movement <clears throat> this is probably the standard grade at a 28 24-2 movement as I have timed it for about a week and it consistently gains about 12 seconds per day but very very consistently it doesn't deviate too much from that plus 12 seconds a day it's not all over the place like some other movements it's not like a minus 10 in one hour and then plus 14 another it's just pretty much consistently plus 12 around plus 12 like plus 14 plus 10 and it's really that's that's really nice might be able to get it regulated uh, a bit better but uh, I don't really don't really care <laughs> uh, let's see maybe I should make a video about that yeah what do you guys think should I should I try to regulate this watch and make it better I don't know we'll see uh, well let's go to the measurements for the case I got 37.9 millimeters lug to lug I got 46.9 millimeters lug to width uh, lug to width lug with 19.9 millimeters and thickness 10.9 millimeters just like so many uh, so many point nines it's the most it's the most point nine watch ever everything is point nine it's even the tolerances are probably point nine <laughs> so this is because of that relatively thin profile uh, it has a it has a nice presence on the wrist. Let me put it on my wrist. My wrist is six point seven five inches. I don't know what that is in millimeters, but uh, let me put it on. It does have a nice presence. It's it's a good size for those with smaller wrists. And you can see right there that it's. Can you see? It? <laughs> Whoa! Look at that view. It is pretty, it's it's pretty thin. It's not a, a thick watch, and that's why I got it. I thought it would be a very nice addition to my uh, my quiver of watches. And it has a striking dial. I love that dial. Um, it's good for guys with small wrists, even guys with medium to large wrists, because of these longer than normal lugs. It's really, it's really a nice piece. This uh, This dome is sapphire. It's not anti-reflective, but it is sapphire. The case back is not sapphire, I believe. I believe it's just a, a regular mineral, mineral glass. I'll show the case back later. Uh, excuse me. The crown is not a screw-down crown. It's basically just push in, pop out. So 
even though it has a rated advertised water resistance of 100 meters, beware, people are having issues with this watch just getting splashed where moisture is accumulating inside. So yeah, you might want to you might want to not get this get this uh, wet. Although they might have fixed that with this slightly newer version, but you know, why take the chance? Uh, <laughs> yeah. This uh, this case is finished very well. It's a very nice satiny case. The edges are all nicely done, not nothing too sharp. Very very nicely finished. Uh, all all of it is brushed except for the top of the uh, the bezel. It's polished, but everything is just a nice beautiful satiny brush. Here's that uh, here's that Hamilton crown. Whoop! It's got that. H for Hamilton. So pretty. Not nothing special, but at least it's signed. You know, this is a signed crown. I really like that 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 red tip second hand that goes all the way to the edge of the of the dial. I love that. And I don't mind that date window there too much either. I normally would kind of be put off by uh, a date window having a white background with a black dial but it kind of works because it's replacing the number I guess so yeah it, it's okay the dial is pretty it's a what is it called a pot pan dial a bunch of pans and the outer dial where the numbers are where the hour numbers are is a, it has a nice uh, I'm not sure what it's called but it's very it's very very etched it's etched very close together can't you can't really see it unless you maybe you can maybe this did you just hear that noise my, my throat made <laughs> it was like boop <laughs> you can't see it it's it's really you got to get real close up to that uh maybe a picture right here <laughs> yeah see there you go i, I did it <laughs> all right all right uh, that's that's that <laughs> Uh, let's see what else can we talk about. Um, yeah. Okay, bracelet. This is a weird bracelet because those center links are actually two separate pieces. You see that line in it? I thought that it was gonna be like I was kind of worried that it's gonna be like just a piece of crap folded bracelet, but no, those are two separate solid little links in between the the movement. Uh, uh in between the the end links, the, the side links. So that's a weird thing. It gives a weird feel to it, but it works. I like it. Uh, stick around. I'm going to actually put a different strap on this watch just to see what it looks like. But, um, you know, with this bracelet, it, it works really nice. I, I, don't have, I don't have too many complaints. It's a solid, solid bracelet. It has solid end links. You see there, solid end links. It's, it's really well made. The Hamilton signed buckle is pretty classy and nice this everything is nicely nicely beveled and and polished not polished but uh, brushed it's it's really nice this is a nice proper super proper bracelet so uh, yeah let's look at the loom shall we loom time and I'm gonna turn on the ISO to ISO 1600 because that's what I'm seeing with my eyeball vision and I'm gonna use a big ass light here I'm gonna take the tablet of justice away I'm gonna just boom boom light and I'm blasting this with what guys what am I blasting it with put it in the comments below what I'm blasting it with <laughs> all right so here we go boom that is the loomy loom and it's not too special nothing great Focus, come on, Ford Focus. There you go. Nope, nope. That the reflection is not letting me Ford Focus. Okay, there you go. So as you can see, not super bright. It's not a bright loom. It doesn't last too long on a scale of one to ten, where a, a, an orange, not orange, but a Seiko Monster would be a ten. Uh, I'd give this about a five, guys. Not even gonna lie. It's not made to be super loomy, although it's really cool that the hours and the little, <coughs> little markers are illuminated so makes for some good photography uh, but uh, yeah not a 
not a world-class winning loom situation so that's that so let's uh let's put the strap on I have this little strap here that's just kind of in my desk it's lingering and uh, let's uh, try some let's try some straps here okay let's uh, uh, oh there is something I definitely need to uh, talk about with this with this case Hamilton has done a really good job on this case and I'll show you why in just a second uh, this is gonna take some time so let me just uh, and we're back we finally got that sucker off let me show you the back the case back here so here's that uh, ooh, here's that uh, Hamilton rotored at a 28-24 movement so yeah nothing too special there you can see that uh, those two center things winding about so yeah alright so let's uh I'm gonna put this on a uh, strap I had laying around so let's just get some of this junk out of here and uh, put uh, get this cloth here just a nice happy little cloth so we don't get things scratched up you don't want to get things scratched up oh, no. okay put this thing in here oh, okay before I do that see the this part of the case right here it's kind of etched out see that part right there little that's really good because that allows them to make the lugs closer and your 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 strap won't get all scuffed up by the by the edge of the case and I've seen that in some of my other watches and it just kind of like ruins the whole thing so they've they've etched that out and that's that's really cool Hamilton I like that I like when watch companies do little things like that to just make your life a little bit better. So that aspect alone just makes me really like like this watch. I was kind of on the fence. Ooh, would you just look at that? Oh my gosh. Oh, might not put it back on the bracelet. What do you guys think? Yeah, hmm. Uh, let's see. Maybe. So oh, oh my gosh. Gosh, you are a sexy animal now. Oh man, before it was like all business, uh, but now it's a party. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but you know what? Uh, you know, by the power of Grayskull. Oh, Brown Town. Oh, that's nice too. That's nice too, man. <laughs> I think I like it better. Yeah, I, oh no, I, I think it's I think it's pretty nice on the brown, but I think I like it better on black. So let's go back to back. And we're back on black. Wow, so pretty, so pretty. Jeez, man, I think I might get a. I don't know. I think I might get one with all the white stripes. I'm not a particular. I'm not a big fan of the white stripes uh, on this watch. Uh, what do you guys think? Should I should I leave it with the white stripes or I'm um, not stripes, but the white stitching, uh, or just get like a a shiny black strap? Oh man, I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it like this. I think. What do you guys think? Jeez. Okay. Well, um, I think we're gonna keep it. I think we're gonna keep this watch. <laughs> That's my review of this Hamilton, and thanks for watching. <laughs>